Hey, you guys. <laughs> oh, boy. So, I got, <laughs> got all the Reader's Digest done. Uh, well, not all the Reader's Digest that, that I have, that I want to do, but all the Reader's Digest journals that I've been working on. Um, so, these are basically... Uh, naked journals so meaning that I haven't put any you know tags or ephemera bits and things like that in them but they do still have super yummy papers and that kind of thing um, I will go through them kind of show them to you there's okay <laughs> I know this is crazy there's 38 Reader's Digest that just got listed uh, in my Etsy shop and then there's 15 other uh, journals also that are not Reader's Digest. They're the ones that I was working on the spines, you know, a couple months ago and sort of just getting prepped to make into journals. Um, so I did those the same as the Reader's Digest. So they basically all have the same guts, you know, um, the same papers and that, and that kind of thing. Uh, so some really special stuff that, that I used inside of them, but, um, but like I said, they're naked, so you can use them for lots of different things, you know, uh, glue books, art journal, regular old journaling, uh, December daily, uh, there's even a couple I think that would be cool to use as like a Halloween style journal or whatever. Anyway, so um let's look through let's look through a couple and i'll show you i'll kind of talk to you about the papers that are in them and you know oh my gosh you know i don't know if you guys love love readers digest as much as i do you get it uh they're just such a perfect size they're they're hardcover books they have super cool covers I just love all the designs any of them um, any of the pattern ones I love uh, and I actually do have a whole bunch of the just blank ones that are just like the dark blue or some of them are brown um, which are also cool they're super nice you know they're the same size but anyway um, if you love Reader's Digest as much as I do then you get it uh, they're small enough, too, that you can put them in your purse, like, you know, if you have a sort of hefty purse, but um, they're just, I don't know, I just love them. And the, the spines are all about an inch and a half, so you don't usually have to change much when it comes to altering them. Um, a lot of times the spines are not in super great shape, so you have to replace it, but all the ones that I was able to do... Uh, the spines were in good enough condition that I didn't have to actually replace any part of it. I just covered it. So, um, so anyway, um, I used the, uh, I did do a couple videos talking about these, you know, in the last couple weeks, but, um, I made a ton of these journals because I don't know if I'm going to be able to, well, feel like, uh, working much, uh, beginning, October 7th. I'm having all my teeth pulled out, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. I'm having all my teeth pulled. I'm getting dentures. I'm just doing it because that's just, it's just, that's, it's time for that. And that's the best solution for me right now. So I've had lots of teeth pulled over the last year or so. And um, this is just the way it's going to, it's got to be. I'm not I'm not in a position to do implants. So anyway, um, they're all coming out and I don't know how I'm going to feel about talking and even sitting upright for a while. So, so that's that anyway. So, okay. I told you anyway. <clears throat> um, so I, I've got lots of journals that I'm putting in my shop that there's, I think I listed 53 today. And I've got another 17 that I'm going to try to get finished before the 7th of October. Um, they're they're going to be larger um, journals that I think I'm going to do some embellishing and that kind of thing on, you know. Um, anyway, so let's, let's jump into these. Uh, so we've got the spines are all covered with 
um, some of those Cavallini posters that you can find. I found a shop here in Spokane where they carry all of them. So I just picked up one of each one day and um, I cut them all up and just used that paper on the spines. It's just nice, thick paper and it's cool. Like it's decorative and, you know, they've got the butterfly one and then, you know, all these different travel ones. And there's one that's a, just a big map of the United States. And so anyway, so that's what I use on the spines. I did do some machine stitching around the perimeter of the front and back of each of the Reader's Digests uh, and the other ones too. Um, there's no fabric in these, but uh, but nice paper. Anyway, so on the, on the inside cover, uh, front and back, we've got a library pocket. Okay, nothing in it. Um, oh, and the charms. So I just used some of the Tim Holtz little ephemera. They're, they're kind of thick on chipboard, you know, and put a little eyelet in those, used one of those as a charm, and then a little milk cap on each one, and then a key, okay? So the keys I thought would be kind of neat. Some of them are, you know, like newer keys. A lot of them are car keys, you know. I just have this giant can full of keys. But I thought you could alter the key if you wanted to. Um, there's some neat stuff on the market where you can paint metal and uh, just dis distress metal and things like that. So I thought that would give you something you could, you could, you know, add your own uh, touch to the journal. Um, since they are basically naked journals, you know, I didn't want to go crazy on the charms either. Um, they're not on a clasp. They're all attached with jump rings those kind of heavy jump rings so you would need like pliers or something to take these off but uh, but you know it's not not too difficult anyway okay so to the inside um, so you've got a library pocket on the front and back um, some of the some of the older books that the other books that I used for journals uh, I didn't want to cover the inside cover you know, the inside part of the, the book cover. So I put your library card here, okay? Um, the listings on Etsy, I use the same, like, pictures of the inside of the journal for every listing, okay? So the only thing that changes from listing to listing is the, the image of the front of the book. So if you're looking at the listings and you notice that all the other pictures are the same, you're right, they are. Um, they're just an example of what you would see in each one. I just did not feel like taking that many pictures and uploading that many images. It just, I don't know, it just seemed kind of pointless to me since they're all so similar. So anyway, um, but I did do quite a bit of printing. I printed a whole bunch of uh, uh, like scans of end papers and things like that that I have in my stash and printed them off and then printed on the other side, you know, some kind of ledger paper or something. So this is a cardstock piece. So there's a piece of cardstock on the outside of each signature. Okay. Each, each journal has five signatures. So there's some kind of cardstock on the outside of each signature just to kind of give you, um, I don't know. I, I think of them as like guard pages, you know, it just kind of, it makes putting signatures together easy because then you sort of almost have like a little booklet that you can work with. So anyway, <clears throat> and then I, uh, I wound up actually buying a whole bunch of avocado dyed paper from uh, GT Designs, from, from Renee at GT Designs. And she sent me some extra coffee dyed paper. So just, just saying, if you're one that likes to make lots of journals, and um, even if you don't like to make a lot of journals, but you love coffee dyed paper, and you don't necessarily want to, you know, have paper laid out all over your house drying, or, you know, maybe you don't like coffee, but you like the, the look of it, um, I recommend checking out her her listings. Uh, she's got an Etsy shop. I'll put a link in the description to her shop so that if you want to grab, and if you want to grab some, she does coffee dyed and also avocado dyed. Um, and she does it on the large ledger size 
paper. So that's basically like two, two pages, you know, two full sheets in one. So it's really worth it. I, I think, I don't remember how many pieces are in, like when you buy it, I don't know how, remember how many she has in each listing. I think it's 40, which translate to actually like 80. So anyway, but you can see, um, in, in her listing, but, um, but really nice. Uh, and she doesn't dry her paper in the oven either, which is kind of cool. But, um, and I don't think she irons it either. So you wind up with this really nice, yummy, crinkly paper that's still sturdy, you know. Anyway, so cut up a whole bunch of ledgers, uh, some handwriting paper, you know, some children's writing paper. This is drawing paper. Um, I took apart some of my Atlas books some grid paper. I added some kind of like either an envelope or a paper bag into each signature. Printed off some of the stuff that I have as listings on Etsy. Um, this is an old uh, uh, Baldwin's reader that I have as, an, as a listing in my Etsy shop. Um, and then just printed, you know, some kind of end paper on the back. Um, some more, and then I coffee dyed a whole bunch of paper myself. I did, oh my gosh, I think I did like 300 pa pieces of that same big ledger size. So I, I had a lot of, I needed a lot of coffee dyed paper. So, um, so I just hunkered down one day and I just did a whole bunch of it. Um, I do dry mine in the oven, but I dry it at a really low temperature. Um, so it's almost more like a dehydrator than like a high heat oven. Like I, I dry it, I put my oven at 175 degrees and then I just leave it in there for the day and I just kind of check it throughout the day. So anyway, but I, and I don't have much trouble with it becoming brittle. So just saying, um, and then some more of that really cool, um, writing paper. That's like on a, um, it's like a newsprint. Um, I took apart, the airplane or the aircraft maintenance book that I picked up a few months ago that I just love. It's like one of my favorite books to use pages out of. Um, one of I had one when I first started making junk journals and I just coveted every little piece of it. It's just a really cool little book. Um, some more ledger. Anyway, um, I have a whole drawer in a filing cabinet filled with every color of cardstock that is just sitting there. Like, I, cause I don't make cards anymore. So I have all this cardstock. So I decided to just pull some of each color and I printed some, uh, different pattern, you know, on the front and the back. So you've got like a penmanship type paper on the front. And then I just did a grid design on the back lots of different colors you know it's all kind of like it's just cardstock paper you know anyway more ledger um where i had papers that were wide i just folded them in i've been saving all my packaging paper from amazon and um trying to use it in journals so that's what this is and you can it's kind of wrinkly and stuff um some so this is an old um book of Art Nouveau, like posters and stuff. Mostly, uh, I keep wanting to say it's Escher, but we know it's not Escher. I can't remember his name at the moment, but uh, Mooka. <clears throat> anyway, and then I went through all my scrapbook paper and I pulled out tons of, tons of scrapbook papers and used up a whole bunch of it in these journals. Um, and then some pages from some old readers. This is a map, like a Los Angeles County map book that I have. It's like every county in like detail, you know, I mean, it's funny that there's a whole, it's a book this thick of grids of the whole county or, or of every county in California is what it is anyways, but it's old. It's like from the seventies. Um, so here's an envelope in the center of the signature. I didn't seal it up because I didn't know how you might want to use it. You know, you, you might want to seal it up. You might not, you might want to glue something else onto the flap here and have two pages in the center. 
use this as a pocket or whatever. So, um, so you, you have that option, whatever you want to do. Uh, I cut the string short on the signatures where I had an envelope. Okay. The signatures where there's not an envelope, I left the strings long. Um, yeah, like, well, so there's another one. Um, oh, some of these pages from that book I folded up so that you could use them as pocket pages if you wanted to, but I didn't glue these down. So all you'd have to do if you want to use these as pockets, so this would be like a little tuck spot and another tuck spot and then a pocket on this side. All you'd have to do is, you know, maybe staple this across the bottom or glue it, you know, to make those into pockets. Otherwise, um, you know, you could cut this down here and fold it down and you'd have this bigger page if you wanted to do some collaging or whatever. Um, lots of onion skin paper. I think each journal has three or four sheets of onion skin, which is which is pretty cool. I love onion skin paper. Um, this is just craft paper. This is not packaging from Amazon. This is craft paper that I usually use when I wrap up my journals when I ship them. So um, anyway, so I buy that paper in the like 500 page, 500 piece reams. Um, it's cool. It's a huge thing of paper. But anyway, so this is like a, some kind of history book, but I loved it because it has all kinds of notes in the margins and all these little, you know, like notations and stuff. Some grid paper, more scrapbook paper. This is, this is some of the coffee paper that I dyed. Actually, I didn't coffee dye. It's all tea dyed. And I used like a hundred tea bags in the bath that, <laughs> where I dyed that paper. So that's how it got that nice dark color. Um, I put an envelope in the center of some of the signatures and I always flip them upside down so that you can use the flap as like a little pocket but I didn't cut these open or anything I and mean, you can see I left the strings long on those signatures so this is a really nice dictionary that it's an illustrated dictionary that has nice big images and it's just it's like one of my favorite dictionaries uh, what else is different the other side of that one book page um, some more of my scrapbook paper that I printed on some ledger it's a nice big piece of onion skin um, some other ledger that's written on um, this is a cool book it's a it's a book of how to paint signs uh, was published like in the 40s, 30s or 40s. It's just a neat, it's a nice heavy, it's kind of glossy paper, but I just love it. I've scanned some stuff out of it. I probably shouldn't have, but anyway, it might actually be a lot older than that then if I scanned it because I, I'm pretty good about not doing that if it's, if it's not okay to do. So it might have been from the 20s, like early 20s even. I don't remember. Anyway, um, so yeah, so oh, here's some of the avocado paper from Renee. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Um, they're not super fat, like I said. So you you know, there's some room in there for you to add your own goodies. Um, and then the the front and back cover, I just did an eyelet right on the edge, and put a nice. Uh, generous amount of seam binding um, that just ties into a bow as a closure okay so that's how they all basically are um, so, so some of these covers have some fabric on the spines okay so if you watch my channel you know that these are the ones where I sort of expanded the spines and made them a little bit wider so they're like rebuilt, you know, um, but you can see the papers are all the same types of thing, you know, in, um, in each one. Okay. Um, the only difference is that the spines and the covers are different on those other 15 that are not Reader's Digests. Okay. 
Um, some of them are actually, and you'll notice the difference in the pricing on these, but some of these are wider books. See, this, these are like the pages are wider. And so I had to make sure that I cut separate papers, you know, um, so that we get wider pages in these. So just saying, they, they took a little bit more effort on my part because um, I wanted to make sure that the pages were, were wide. I didn't want to put little skinny pages in these nice wide covers, okay? So, and I think there is actually more pages in these two. Yeah, I did. I added more paper into these signatures than I did in the Reader's Digest. So that's why I said you'll no, you'll notice a little bit of pricing difference. I mean, it's not extreme, but um, but since I didn't add a bunch of like my other handmade tags and and that kind of stuff into these. Uh, that keeps the pricing, I think, reasonable. And, of course, it does include shipping. So um, for in the U.S., it's, it's uh, shipping included. <clears throat> um, just where I thought that the cover had some flaws here and there, I just added some of that really cool fabric washi from Tim Holtz. Um, this is another one where I expanded the spine, and so there's just a little fabric covering that section. Um, I love this book. It's so pretty. I'm just showing you guys the, the ones that are not Reader's Digest so you can, so you can get an idea of what those look like. But again, like I said, on Etsy, um, all there is is just a picture of the front cover. Um, this one's one of my favorites with the orange, the orange uh, thread around the border. Um, there's another, there's two of these math books. One's the primary and one's the intermediate. And then there's two of this, uh, Elson Gray basic readers. There's the primer and then the book one. The book one is a little bit more, um, not as bright. The color is a little brighter on this one. And then this is the Beacon Primer. It's one of the wider ones. Uh, there's two of these readers. I think there's year one. And there's the first and second, or else it's the second and fourth. I can't remember. Um, and then two more of the wider books. There's uh, Child Life and then A Child's Garden of Verses. It's another one of my favorites right here. And then this one is really cool. This is a geometry book. Um, it's kind of tall. It's a little taller than the rest of them. And, but I left the, um, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, I left the pages the same height. I didn't, I didn't cut them longer. So you just have a little bit more, um, of a gap here at the top and the bottom so the pages don't go all the way to the bottom and the top on this one so just just saying um, there's a little bit more extra space at the bottom and the top so anyway I was gonna maybe stagger them like try to stagger the pages more but then I had already made the signatures and I just I didn't feel like spreading them out again. So anyway, but this one's another one of my favorites. But Okay, so that's that. The, these are all in my Etsy shop, ready to go. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Yeah, I do have some other journals that I'm working on. They're going to have um, probably a lots of ephemera and that kind of stuff in them. Um, I'm going to be doing some collaging and that kind of thing over the next few days, maybe. Um, and so I'll, I'll probably be stuffing those with all kinds of stuff, but, uh, and I have, oh, oh, I remembered what I wanted to tell you guys. So I found the, um, the Dremel video and what the reason that, <laughs> the reason that I knew I wasn't crazy well, I mean, I'm kind of crazy, but 
Um, I knew I had done a video, and the reason that I couldn't find it to show it to you guys is because it was a private video that I had made for Tracy. And <clears throat> so it's there in my private videos. And since it was made as a private video, because uh, we were just talking about it one day, and, and she had some questions, so I just was answering, basically just answering her questions in the video. It's not a very good video. It's just, it's not, you know, I mean, it, it was more just like between her and I. So, um, so I will still do another Dremel video, I promise. But I can't, I went camping this last weekend and I sort of got distracted the couple days before we went camping. And um, so I didn't get to doing it, but I will do it. I got the iPad from Adrian. He brought it over and left it for me this weekend. So I'm excited to get that up and hopefully set up and start figuring it out. Um, my internet is down at the moment, so I'm using my phone as a hotspot. Hopefully I can upload this video without any major problems. It'll probably take forever to upload that way. So I'll try to keep it. That's about as long as I should make this video. Otherwise it will take all day to upload. But anyway, so thanks for watching you guys. Thanks for all your support and all your love. I do appreciate you more than you know. So hopefully you can snag one of these. I mean, there's enough of them. I'm, I hope everybody who wants one can get one. And if not, just know that I do have some more journals coming before the seventh, but um, they're not going to be simple naked journals like these. They're going to be more, you know, more, more stuff. So um, meaning maybe a little bit more money. So anyway, just saying. Um, anyway, so that's it. Okay. I love you guys. Okay. Bye for now. Oh, link in the description to my Etsy shop. Okay.